How ghouly. Go away. Here I am in Kalgoorlie, Boulder. Kalgoorlie translates to place of silky pears. So even the traditional owners knew that it was a ball sack of a town. <laughs> Located halfway between Perth and absolutely nowhere. To be fair, right? Um, now I know Australia has a lot of towns that nothing really, you know, is in the middle of nowhere. Now, from my understanding, sort of anything to the right of Perth, there isn't really a lot of. There's nothing really there. Maybe I will be pleasantly surprised. We will see. But yeah, Tom Gleason isn't isn't giving me that that impression. It's an arid outback shithole that puts the boar <laughs> in Nullarbor. And tonight on Go Away, I'll show you why. So much to see or do. Picnic in the Chinese gardens. Listen to Paddy Hanan's Taste of the Gold Rush. Climb a giant haul truck. Yeah, that sounds thrilling. Take a self-guided walked walking tour. Step back in time in the prospector's campsite. Or try your luck at gold panning. Now, straight away, I'm getting the impression that this was simply a gold mining town. Uh, I'm... I'm yeah, I'm pretty confident in that in, in that assumption. Problem is, is all the gold gone? Uh, because I suppose when the resources have dried out, the use for that town has basically run out. But let's see what he says. And more. The biggest attraction here is the open cut gold mine, which tells you everything you need to know about Kalgoorlie. Looking in here, it feels like you're staring directly into the Earth's asshole. <laughs> it's basically the world's most unnecessary metaphor. For shithole. Um, <laughs> I got that. I, I don't know what the metaphor is. I just want to look at this picture now. Look, it's, it's pretty cool to see. It is pretty cool to see. However, how long can you just stand looking out from that little watchtower? I, I'm just picturing myself now. Okay, 30 seconds, cool. Brilliant. What an awesome sight to see this man-made structure. Um, I say man-made structure, you know what I mean. A man-made crevice hole. Um, but once you've done looking for 30 seconds, I'm not sure what else there is to see. Seems a bit of a very small time gap, this. Yeah, we get it. The place is a hole. <laughs> The best way to see Kalgoorlie is on a big orange tricycle. That way, everyone knows you're not a local. <laughs> so true. Anywhere that has these sort of trikes and the uh, the little bicycles, what do you call them? I can't even remember. Uh, but you know what I mean. Whenever those are seen, you know that they're not locals that are in them. Same as the horse and carts. Never locals. No locals ever get in horse and carts, do they? It just doesn't look like there's a lot there. It is a Harley. Sorry about the spew. <laughs> Searching for gold is one of Kalgoorlie's most popular tourist activities because it lets you have all the fun of an indentured Chinese labourer in the 1800s. <laughs> Panning for gold was how poor people used to lose money before pokies were invented. I quite often uh, watch, I think it's on Discovery Channel, uh, the the Outback Gold, gold Diggers or something like that, Gold Diggers, I don't know what the title is, uh, but it makes it look like these groups of people go and dig for gold and they make it look so easy. It's clearly not, but they find these massive chunks of gold, which are worth thousands and thousands and thousands. And you wonder, like I said, they make it look easy. However, I expect it takes them ages and ages to be lucky. Pixie's joined us. We haven't had Pixie for a while. Uh, Pixie's not been on the video. She's been annoyed 
uh, from Astro. She's here. She wants some attention. Let's carry on watching. It's great if you want to experience the joy of rinsing an old dish in a dirty pond. Wow. So. <laughs> I decided to sit down with the ex-shy president of Boulder, who is being held in Kalgoorlie yeah, against his will. Hello, John, how are you? I'm all right. Nice to see you. Doug, we're in a skimpy's bar. What's yeah. that mean? Well, fantastic. You've got women in there that sometimes show their breasts. Oh, we can't show it, by the way. Cause... At least there's one reason to go to, to Kalgoorlie. Definitely one reason to go. It's, this is the ABC. Yeah. What do they do when men are behind the bar? Do they just have their cocks out? <laughs> so, um, what's a good thing to do in this hole? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> he's, he's insinuating shit, oh, isn't he? He definitely, that's what he's insinuating. You can make a lot of money here. How? Oh, go and find some gold. Well, I went out to one of the mines and I just thought it looked like a great place to hide a body. Yeah, there's probably been a few put there out there. <laughs> Not quite as good a place as Cooper Pedy, though, is it? Cooper Pedy is the best place to hide a dead body. If there's someone you don't like, chuck them down one of those holes. Another big attraction is this. one of Australia's oldest working brothels, Cuesta Casa. Oh. Hello, Tom. Hi. We've been looking for a hard man. OK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's so funny Tom Gleason. he sort of does this expressionless face and you know what he's thinking he's not one of these characters that does a really expressive face you know but it just works this is the domination room okay so is this where the sex happens not really this is where you're punished where you have humiliation and pain Okay. The sex takes place in the working rooms. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to get to Kalgoorlie, you can fly, drive, or even golf cart your way there on the Nullarbor Lynx, the world's longest and most boring golf course. <laughs> oh! Just kidding. No one's stupid enough to be doing this. <laughs> So next time someone suggests taking the long trek to Kalgoorlie, tell them to go away! Well. So, Kalgoorlie, gold, and prostitution. <laughs> that is not... That is not that appealing, is it? I think I'm going to fly straight over Kalgoorlie. Um stop off in Perth in September for 90 minutes and straight over to Melbourne. I'll look down and see if I can see it, but that is about it. What do you think of Kalgoorlie? Have you been to Kalgoorlie? I'm just seeing how many times I can say Kalgoorlie. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you in enjoyed Pixie's appearance. She's not made it for a while, have you? Make sure you like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.